Welcome back. I'm Bella Kinjemi. And I'm Kaylee Taylor, and this is Good Morning KU. So, Kaylee, you seem to be wearing that Royals jersey with some pride today. Yes, um, for those of you who didn't watch, don't know why you weren't watching, we won last night. Um, actually, this is my favorite shirt, but it's not my lucky shirt. Um, I have like a $5 Walmart shirt <laughs> that I bought like way back when, when I was going to a Royals game. I'm like, oh, I don't have a shirt. And I've worn it for every game, and we have won every game I've worn it for. Um, I bartended at On the Border, and last night I had this shirt on, but I had my lucky shirt under, and I had to take this shirt off halfway through the okay. shift because the game wasn't going my way exactly. So there you go. So we will be winning tonight if I'm winning, yeah, make, wearing my lucky yeah, shirt. Yeah, make sure you wear that shirt because we have to win tonight. You know, if we win tonight, we go to the World Series, and it's been like, you know, 29 since, years. Yeah, since 1985, right? 1985, yes, my dad went, he took my mom on a date oh, there. So nice. I was like, hey dad, you know, we should reminisce on this and you should buy us tickets to the World Series yeah. game, so. You know, I've actually never been to a Royals game. Don't, okay, don't be mad at me, but I am from New Jersey. So Royals isn't, you know, it's not my thing, but I'm definitely turning into a Royals fan now. And I'm, it's not a bandwagon, I promise, but I'm definitely into them now. I feel like the bad bandwagon is kind of okay because, you know, it's when a team's winning and has this much energy, it's hard not to, like, want to be a part of yeah. that, you know? Yeah, now, now I am. This um, past weekend over fall break, I was with um, my friends at their house and their parents and the whole family, and we actually, like, were watching the Royals game, and I was like, this is kind of like my first time really watching the Royals, and everyone turned to me, and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, But there's definitely, like, such a fun atmosphere, and... Stuff like that. So I'm excited for tonight's game. I spent most of my fall break uh, watching the Royals game. Um, I also took my little, I'm in a big brother, big sister program. I took her to Worlds of Fun. I went to the pumpkin patch with my family. Oh, wow. But we have a couple pictures from our viewers of what okay. they did over fall break. So there's me and my family at the pumpkin patch. Only me and my little brother, my mom and my dad. He's bigger than I am. <laughs> And then yes. this is in Minnesota from Luke's front porch. Oh, so wow. they already have fall going there. It's a bit colder than we do. So you can see the leaves are already changing. Oh, the leaves are gorgeous. I know. I can't wait for our leaves. And then this is Lewisburg Cider Mill. Have you ever been there? I actually haven't. I went there as a kid. It's pretty fun. They have pumpkins. They have really yeah. good cider. I really like their beef jerky. No one really gets their beef jerky, but... <laughs> We went there on a field trip and I bought a bunch of it. I'm really excited for apple cider. Apple cider is my absolute favorite. So it's, it's good to be back from fall break yes, though. Yes, definitely. It's, classes are back in session, you know, we had a busy fall break, yep. so. But it's time to be back. But all right, we'll be back now for our news. Hi, I'm Katie Taylor. And I'm Shea Wan. This <laughs> is your Wednesday Good Morning KU News Update. The Kansas City Royals beat the Baltimore Orioles 2-1 in Game 3 of the American League Champion Serial last night. The Royals lead their Serial 3-0, the two teams face off again in Kauffman Stadium at 3 p.m. today. With the win, the Royals will advance to the World Series for the first time since 1985. The University of Kansas Hospital admitted a man with possible Ebola symptoms on Monday, but according to the Kansas City Star, the lab test showed that he does not have Ebola. However, the man will stay in the hospital isolation until confirmation tests by the Federal Center for Disease and Control and Prevention are received. Anxiety about the Ebola will spread as the virus continues to rise around the country. So far, there have been three cases diagnosed in the U.S. A second healthcare worker at the Texas House Presbyterian Hospital has tested possible for positive for Ebola. According to the Fox News, the worker reported a fever on Tuesday and was placed in isolation. The identified worker was in close contact with Thomas Eric Duncan, who died from Ebola last week. The Supreme Court has temporarily saved abortion access in Texas. The court ruling reserved the impact of Texas's restrictive abortion law that closed all but eight abortion clinics in the state. Thirteen clinics plan to reopen, but there will be an official verdict until the appeals of process is completed. According to MSNBC, the law in question enacted last year the Republican-led legislator and includes some of the nation's toughest restrictions. KU Student Senate is working on an off-campus project to provide better lighting between 11th and 13th Street on Louisiana Street. A specific area of focus is the Alumni Place parking lot at 12th and Louisiana. According to the University Daily Kansan, this gravel lot is often called the Rape Lot. The goal is to reduce crimes by making the overall area brighter. Since the land outside of the parking lot belongs to the city, the city of Lawrence would have to install the lights. Senate members would meet with the city this week. 
The hearings for the two men who were charged with the rape in Hashinger Hall have been moved from no have been moved to November 4th at 2 p.m. The original court date was at October 21st, but has been pushed back to gather more evidence. The University of Kansas Daily the University Daily Kansan said the alleged rapes occurred between 2 and 5 a.m. on September 28th. And that will wrap it up for today's news update. Now back with our host, Katie and Bella. Welcome back. Um, now, most of you who are here for fall break probably went to late night. Did you go to late night, Bella? I did go to late night. And actually, I wasn't there just for late night. I got there at 1 o'clock and waited for hours. What did you do? Um, I actually was shopping for a car, but my friend got there at like 9 o'clock at night on Thursday and like slept inside oh Allen Fieldhouse. And so I like got there at like 2 o'clock and I got a front row seat right behind like the press and everything. So I was just like, wow, this is my last late night and um, I got front row seats. Yeah, I, I, you know, I got front row seats too and it was my first time actually being front row. So it, it was such an amazing experience. Waited a while, but it was definitely worth it. I, I think late night is always fun because it combines all the sports, you know, you get football players, you appreciate everyone. Like, yeah, the big focus is basketball, but it was nice to have all the other players in there and get to meet all the teams and then, you know, have all the little shows in between. Yeah, it's a nice introduction to the season, you know? And you know, watching Bill Self act is always always a fun time He's for so us. He's so funny. <laughs> but basketball season is starting, as you know. Yes, and um, for those of you who don't know, this Friday, actually, Miami Heat is having an exhibition game. And Miami Heat is my favorite team. Um, I don't know what yours is, but I am so excited. And students actually get to go for only $15. So I'm definitely going. I don't know. You should definitely check it out. I, I might work. I'm not a Miami Heat fan. I didn't like LeBron James, not one of those oh. people. I'm more of a Kevin Durant fan, Oklahoma okay, right, Thunder. Right. So I might go. It'd be good to see because I've never seen an NBA basketball game. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't know if I want to watch it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely there because of Mario Chalmers. So, so if you I'm are excited. a Heat fan, you should you definitely, should definitely try to check do it. it out. <laughs> we also have the Royals game tonight, and if they win, We'll be going to the World Series. If they don't, we have another game tomorrow, so wear your royal blue tonight. And then we also have a football game this weekend, so you should support your football team as well. Mm -hmm. But that does it for Good Morning KU. You guys have a great day.